In the course of the pandemic, a young draftsman and painter from Finland has proven his talent with narrative portraits and studies from live models. His name is Jalmar Hagerstam. I noticed first I have to ask you before you uh, at all start. It's a fairly cool or well not too cool, but it's a quite cool color. Yeah. Did you start on? Yeah. Uh, well, that is by accident because that, this <laughs> is uh, this is just paint, uh, leftover paint which I just slapped on the canvas. Okay. Okay. Before to have something yeah. to go off. This on. is dry now, right? Yeah. 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 Mm. So. Magnus, uh, as I uh, said before, gaze down and a bit of a tilt, and that's it. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Mm. Mm. So, I usually just begin with uh, somewhat of an outline. And uh, fairly strong. Um Strong color or a fairly strong outline. Uh, yeah, but um, I suppose so. But uh, it won't stop me from just changing it mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is probably all wrong, but no, it eventually it will uh, make sense. Painted for how many seconds? It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen uh, also William William Heimdall starting fairly strong and and dark. Yeah. Because you have that. I mean, you, you could also work fairly light and gradually go darker, but it's mm. it gives it a shock that. A sort of kick starts that uh, quest for for volume and, and contrast. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, because it's uh, it's so extremely complex in the beginning. Mm. You're just fumbling, <coughs> fumbling about. So I try to just clarify it as much as possible. So you straight away. willfully exaggerate it so that you get the form. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and we should have mentioned uh, the sketch, which uh, I'm basing it off, but uh, that uh, is a previous drawing I made of uh, Magnus. Do you always do um, preparatory sketches? Uh, no, this is an exception. Mm. And as you can see, I'm not really following it, mm. but it was just uh, something to, to get to know the features and the model for that right. matter. Right, right. I was wondering also, 
talked with uh, Sebastian Salva about it, and I guess the answer is evident in mm. some way. But do you have <clears throat> some kind of idea of a mood or some some direction on this, or are you you're just concerned with placement and uh, getting it fairly incorrect? Uh, it's. I mean, the mood will come about automatically. I think. Yeah. Uh, so, especially with this format, it's very small, so there's uh, not too much you can do with it, really. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, th that's that point that uh, Ed and Erdem has made about knowing the, the genre or the discipline that you're working in. Yeah. That the, you don't try to be too pretentious in a in a fairly simple portrait. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, it can be done, but uh, it's, it's so difficult. Hmm. And if I were to do that, I would prefer to have a kind of a story or an idea beforehand uh, and then try to find a model for it. But in this case, it's just starting as a study, hmm. so. Yeah, it's that those at least those two <coughs> different uh, approaches, either <coughs> very soft and and gradually stronger, or quite strong and then keeping it back or or, or toning it toning it down. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to go a bit in between. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I can't. I don't know if I could really put it in words. I feel like my technique changes all the time as I go along, mm -hmm. from method to method. But, but you started also, I mean, you started with Odenodrum, but before that you went to the Florence Academy? Uh, no, after, Af actually. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was already, well, fully indoctrinated. So, um, <laughs> I, I mean, the studying with, uh, with Nerdrum made a much bigger much bigger impact technique wise mm -hmm. and they were quite critical against that uh, at the, the academy okay quite, so uh, what what would be their uh, well don't need to talk too much about it but but what would because i mean there are certain obvious similarities you're also thinking in different planes and getting the sort yeah. of middle tone in that plane and then starting to work darker and lighter in that or adjusting the color so it's not like that in itself is totally different, right? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's very similar. Um, and I'm not totally sure what the, I mean, the difference comes when you get the likeness, mm. but then, uh, for example, Nerdrum, he will take it further than that. Right. And that is something they, w they don't consider. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's it's incredibly difficult, after all, to get the likeness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but is so it is it the question surrounding uh, narrative storytelling? I mean, as far as I understood, they've had some some focus on it, but perhaps not that much uh, on on telling a story and not just getting it uh, correct. But uh, maybe that's not the big big thing there. I mean, you went there when? Uh, I got back uh, some months ago oh, from there. Oh, it's very recent. So, oh, yeah. yeah. But I was actually studying the sculpture uh, in the sculpture department. Oh, oh okay. But still, uh, I mean, I did, I did get to know the painters and all of that. So yeah. I understood how they taught. And uh, it, it is about uh, uh, making it... I mean, I mean, they say the same things. Uh, they teach the same things in uh, in at least words or philosophy mm -hmm. that uh, it should be lifelike, it should be three dimensional, it, it should have a sense of focus, movement, all these things. Also, a certain drama in the in the portrait. Okay, yeah, yeah. They think about, but uh, the big focus there is, of course, to to make it 
structurally sound, I think. This is, uh, this is going okay, actually. Yeah. Surprised? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I was just saying uh, last time Magnus was here that he has a very priestly face. <laughs> so I, I want to try to capture the, some of that uh, calm. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you know, he's, he's an artist, so there's not, he's not too far off. <laughs> oh, I just love that you don't have a microphone on, Magnus. <laughs> to shut up. <laughs> Let's see how much we can annoy him. <clears throat> You're working with the fair amount of medium. Yeah, yeah. but it's just uh, oil, actually. Uh -huh, and then that's when the question comes, so oh, lean, or fat over lean, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you do about that <laughs> and you fall off? And well, I never uh, really concern myself with that actually a little irresponsibly but uh, to me it's it's just about what works on the painting itself <laughs> <laughs> and well you do sand also don't you yeah yeah and I think that does a lot because that breaks the, the different layers I mean you can have one well you're not supposed to, to do that to just use oil in the beginning but you, when you sand it you you break that you make that those um, scratches mm. and the next layer fills it and it sits physically um, better I, yeah I, I, yeah it's uh, I wonder what that is because it gets this structure to it after was, so many layers and all you, of that you know uh, uh, monk's self-portrait uh, uh, with a cigarette but maybe even May well, that and also that portrait of Carl Jens Njell, the guy with the with the glasses there yeah. and the, standing in that suit. Yeah, you know, which are sort of eighteen eighties or nineties suits. But he, yeah. he, the way he paints is af, is af, af, as if he is scraping and sanding and sort of uh, yeah. wearing it down, and then it gets without that actually doing it. Yeah, and it yeah. gets some kind of timeless through that it's a very strange thing where the actual technique fits together with the idea of something that is not contemporaneous mm. they get that vibrancy not this clear separated colors but everything moves together and that's very Greek yeah that's a typical people don't think about that with a with a young Edward Munch that is was was Greek or in that sense and and of course very much like uh, late Rembrandt Titian oh yes oh yes mm. Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. To watch the full video and access our premium library, go to caveofapelles.com slash subscribe and become a $10 patron. That's caveofapelles.com slash subscribe.